Hi. This is a uh, Fano uh, Altefacto JM6 guitar, and um, what I'm going to do is put a Duesenberg Les Trem on it. I love this guitar, it's got lovely P90s in it, but I also really fancy trying uh, to see what it sounds like with a Trem in it, and see whether the Trem makes any difference to the tone of the guitar. So what I'm going to do is just play a few licks and things on each pickup selection and um, you can see on here uh, whether it makes any difference by the time I finish the job. So here we go. That's a little bit of a demonstration of the various sounds you get on this guitar. A little bit of drive, nothing much. So uh, hopefully the clarity of the guitar comes through on the recording. So um, let's see what it sounds like with the trem. See you soon. So here we are. Um, here's a guitar ready to uh, modify. I'm going to take the strings off and uh, take the existing bridge off. Uh, I have measured the distance between the two pillars to see whether it's the right size for this particular trim. And uh, unfortunately, because how do you measure exactly like that? I don't know. Um, it looks about right. Let's hope it's right. If it's not, I'll put it back together again. So here we go. I'll take the strings off first. Now, because these are um, Elixir strings, and I only put them on not long ago, and they're still in fantastic condition, I'm going to try and save them, because I'm a cheapskate like that, and uh, it would be an awful waste. <clears throat> Especially if you're into saving the planet. So, let's see if I can get that one out. I mean, if I can get that one out, I should really get them all out. Yeah, so let's just do that. Okay, so 
Now my good friend David Price made me a guitar recently and I'll um, demonstrate that at some point but he also made me this beautiful ebony screwdriver which is designed to be able to do this with. So I'm very lucky in that respect, he says. <coughs> Oh yes, of course. There are a couple of little Allen bolts which need to be taken apart. And I don't know if that's the right one or not. No. I've got to guess. Let's try that one. Nope. Let's have a look what's going on here. Trusty IKEA lamp. A magnifying glass. That seems to be something right. Yep. Think of that. All right, won't be needing those. Now, the Duesenberg trim comes with both UK Imperial and US bolts. I have no idea which is which, but I'm guessing this is going to be a US fitting as it's a US guitar. But we'll see what fits. So, looking at those. Those. I can't tell the difference. So we just have to try them, see what happens. Try not to. Hmm. Try not to cross the threads. No, that feels like it's a cross thread. That feels good. That one. If you can do them hand tight, you've probably got the right ones. So they're the ones I don't need. Right, so. Here it is. And I reckon that's okay. It's going to fit. So, being a flat top guitar and not arched, it looks like I could mount it directly onto the guitar, or I could use some of these ear spacers <coughs> to lift it slightly off the guitar. I don't know which is best, to be honest, because looking at the picture, it shows some kind of ferrule on the existing hole, but maybe that's just a washer. Yeah, maybe it is. So, I'm going to put a couple of washers on. Just to see. 
how it looks. I'm guessing there's two thicknesses here, a little bit of the same. I don't think all the same. So, what is that? Well, actually, I've got a feeling there's different thicknesses there. That's the skinny one, and these are the thicker ones, so. Pop those on there. I don't know what else went there. Okay. Let's try that. So I should just read the instructions and just check that I've got this right so far. So it says, take off all the strings and the stop tail piece, remove the original bolts, screw the tremolo bolts into the screw collars to test to see if they fit, then remove them, done all that. Now place those trim onto the screw collars and check the gap under the tremolo. The tremolo should not touch the guitar surface. If so, because the screw collars are not high enough, or because the top is extremely curved, simply put one or both of the washers between the tremolo and the screw collar. And that is not touching the guitar surface now. It would have done if I hadn't put those washers on. After that, mount the tremolo using the fitting screws. Tighten the bolts sufficiently. We strongly recommend using the correct screwdriver, otherwise you might damage the screw slots. Push the tremolo arm through the arm holder so its back end projects about 5 to 10 millimetres. Tighten the two hex screws softly with the 2.5mm Allen key. Right, here's the arm. Right, it's already been tightened, I think. So I'm guessing that's all on this side. Five to ten mil, that's probably about it. Tighten that to too much just yet. Okay. <clears throat> Tighten the two hex screws softly with the two and a half millimeter Allen key, which is what I've done. Does that look about right? Might want to adjust the angle of that a little bit. Need to sit up a bit more than that. All right, finally, loosen the previously tightened hex screws and adjust the height of the tremolo arm to your requirements. Well, yeah, just done that, so. So at the moment, I haven't got the spring in. So I'm assuming the spring goes in there. Once the strings are on, that'll be fine. And then that moves out of the way, then I don't want it. I suppose that feels about right. Yeah, so it says the lateral movement 
of the arm or the lever can be adjusted by means of a bolt on the bottom of the lever holder which is underneath there but it feels okay so I'm going to go with that so we'll string it up and um, give it a whirl see what happens I'm assuming that it won't wobble off once the strings are on That all needs to be tightened up a little bit. I can do that once the strings are on. And I want to tighten these as well to make sure that's not going to move. Mm. Oops. <clears throat> that felt a little bit careless. Anyway. All right, let's string it up. Okay, it's still loose, so I'll give that a little tighten up. In fact, it slipped forward a bit, so let's push that back into the oh, I don't want that. Let's go back a bit more, I think. Okay, so no worries about that spring falling out somewhat unfounded. Right, gonna tune it up and see how it plays. There's a spring. So I make the mistakes so you don't have to.
Okay, let's teach it. Stupid boy. So, where does it say about Titan Leather? Nowhere. So anyway, um, the key is to make sure that is tight when you start, or almost tight, and then maybe tighten it up a bit later. All right. Now this feels good. Okay, so we're back. Tremolo's on. Uh, what I'm gonna do is play a little bit and uh, I'll have a little chat about um, my experiences so far. And then do a couple of extra bits as well, just to show you why I think adding the trem makes a difference to this guitar. So um, anyway, so these are the basic uh, tones that I used before when I was uh, demonstrating it before I put the trem on.
really think it's changed the overall tone of the guitar that much. I'll have another listen back. I haven't compared the two uh, before and after um, audio tracks yet, and I guess if I think it's any different, I'll make some notes on the on the video. Um, but I think it doesn't feel any different. Um, the, t the string tension hasn't really changed at all. Um, so, really, it's the same guitar, but with a trem on it, um, as far as I'm concerned. So... So um, I tuned the guitar for a little while and left it to rest for a bit just to make sure the strings um, kind of stayed in tune using the same strings again as, as I mentioned when I was uh, changing the trem and um, as long as you don't go nuts I guess. Noticed um, it did it just then is a, just a little squeak. So I don't know whether that's fixable. I'll I'll see what I can do, and uh, again I'll let you know if I manage to fix that. It's not a big deal to be honest. It's just certainly live. You would never you'd never notice it. Maybe if I was recording and you know in the mix, would you hear it? So, um, in terms of the looks, um, this is a, a distressed guitar, and um, the original hardware was obviously aged, and this is a brand new nickel uh, looking trim. You know, I guess I could change the bridge to a, a, a nickel, nickel bridge, and then it would look the same, but I, I'm not that bothered, you know, really. Uh, I'm, I'm more about you know, getting the job done than how it looks. I actually love this. It makes this guitar so much more versatile. Um, you know, what I was going to do is add a little bit of extra uh, something. A trim, so
So there you go. That's the uh, Duesenberg Les Trim. Easy to fit. Uh, sounds great. Uh, what's not to like, really? It doesn't look the same as the bridge because this is a brand new uh, trim. This is an aged bridge. Um, does it matter? Not bothered personally. Um, it was easy to fit. You'll see all the uh, mistakes I made during the video. Um, and you'll see really how easy it is and um, other than that I think it doesn't make any difference to the tone of the guitar uh, it stays in tune brilliantly I haven't had to tune throughout this demo um, obviously I left it a little bit after I'd done the, ch the change once I put the tremolo on I tuned it up gave it a whirl gave it a good old wiggle about and uh, retuned but it stayed <laughs> throughout the demo so um, pretty pleased with it I've got to say um, didn't cost me a lot of money I bought this one second hand actually but they're not expensive new um, and uh, you know they are around um, you might have to search a little bit to get them at the moment because of supplier issues but that's the same with everything at the moment because of the pandemic and the shipping business um, but it's a brilliant brilliant bit of kit much easier to use than a Bigsby much easier to restring than a Bigsby um, stays in tune more I think and um, I'm really pleased that I put it on this guitar so there we go um, just double check when you're buying one of these that you've got enough space between the original stop bar tailpiece and the bridge itself because I bought this originally to put on an Eastman uh, Les Paul type guitar and after I bought it I realised that the two were too close together so this part it was too close to the bridge and it wouldn't fit but uh, it's worked out brilliantly in the end because I put it on this guitar and it sounds fantastic on this guitar so um, uh, I'm really pleased that I've done it and uh, I'll be leaving it on so um, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you next time